Sydney, you were telling me earlier about your science teachers and what they're saying about evolution. Could you tell me again? Well, a lot of the teachers in the science department um, tend to strain away from evolution and they don't really focus on it. They'll teach it for about 15, 20 minutes and move on. And I ask them why we're not really focusing on it and they don't really accept it. You know, they, they don't. don't even... What school is it? Boonesboro High School. And where's that? Boonesboro. Um, it's about 30 minutes from Hagerstown and it's a really a small town. So. Okay, and how big is the school? It's not big at all, it's really small. And how many science teachers are there? Um, there's just one for biology, chemistry, earth space science, and um, AP bio, AP chemistry, so I'd say about six, seven. And, and how many of them don't believe in evolution? Probably like six, five. There's probably, I haven't um, personally asked every one of them, but everyone that I have asked don't accept evolution. Okay, what about the, the biology teacher? What, what, what's, no. what's, what's his or her name? Um, the biology teacher is Mrs. Radomsky, and the chemistry, chemistry teacher is Mr. Kutzel. Okay, and what does Mrs. Radomsky say about evolution? They don't really accept it. They don't like to talk about it because, of course, they um, connect it with religion, and that's not allowed, but Mr. Cuts actually told me he doesn't believe in evolution and he is believes in Jesus Christ and Well of course you can believe in Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean they they um connect them a lot. So every time evolution comes up, Jesus Christ comes up. Yeah. Um, and that's the same thing. I mean, are situation. they aware that any respectable bishop or priest actually does believe in evolution? I'm Unless you belong to some dopey Southern Baptist sect or something. Um I mean that don't don't they don't they realize that that evolution is is accepted by mainstream Christianity? I have told them that, and my of course my social, my social studies teacher doesn't accept evolution either, and I find that strange since he's a history teacher, and they they absolutely don't agree with anything. I told them that, and they just you know say whatever you don't know what you're talking about. They say you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Although you, you're the one who believes in evolution, you're the one who is on the side yeah. of every respectable scientist in the world. <sighs> yeah. Okay, well, um, anything I can do to help? I would just like you to tell my social studies teacher and my the science department, I mean, that I'm, of course, right, and they'll well, have to talk about it. I mean, I, okay, I will, I will tell, tell you and them through, through you. Um, evolution is a fact. Um, it is a fact that's proved as solidly as any fact we know in science. The world is not merely thousands of years old. The world is billions of years old. Um, we are all cousins. All animals and plants and fungi and bacteria are all cousins of each other. We are rather close cousins of chimpanzees, slightly more distant cousins of gorillas, more distant cousins still of orangutans, more distant cousins still of monkeys more distant cousins still of rats, more distant cousins still of lizards, and so on. We're all cousins. The DNA code is all but universal, which indicates that all living things are descended from a common ancestor. Fossil evidence, combined with molecular evidence, molecular genetic evidence, shows that the, the last common ancestor of life lived more than three billion years ago, uh, and evolved through gradual stages um, to this magnificent branching tree of evolution of which only a tiny fraction is still alive but uh, it's, it's a representative tiny fraction. Um, it's a magnificent vision of the world, of, of life. It's beautiful, it's elegant and any science teacher who shortchanges you on that is not doing her or his job. Um, you are not being well served by your science teachers uh, and I feel Sorry for you and for your colleagues who are not being properly educated at your school. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. And I'm not trying to disrespect any of the teachers in any way, but you probably should be educated. So. <laughs> okay, thank, thank you, you very much. <laughs>